Right. Onwards with the rampant slaughter. However, before we continue slaughtering, of course we have unlocked the very, very useful blacksmith. Now we've got a lot more high level ma like materials now, so I might be able to get a level 4 thing out of this. Which would be really, really nice. I'm going to pull this the entire way as well, because I will... Don't know, can, I, can I use that to... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Hey man, what have we got? So let's upgrade. Oh yes, the iron pipe can get upgraded to level 4. Absolute murder machine. Uh, as can Vicious Contract. Anything else can we do? The Dragon Lance we can't yet. What do we need for that? Clean nuts, crushed nuts, meteorites. We actually do this some pretty rare stuff we need. So let's do that one as well, because why not? Uh, let's, let's level everything we can up. Broken battery, black pearls, time for a sword. Cruel Oath. We can actually do Cruel Oath all the way. Okay, interesting. Machine Sword to level 3. Phoenix Sword. I'm going to have to do all of them at some point, so don't feel, you know, like... I'm not going to miss anything, I promise. But we've got a couple of things at level 4 now, which is good, because we can actually, like, look at the stories. Ah, your white sword. My master honed that very blade long ago. He was a master craftsman who gathered four black and four white weapons and improved on them. But they spilled so much blood that my master sealed them away in various locations across the world. However... Is he... Oh, we already did that, didn't we? Have you not got the thing for me? Ah, here we go. It has been long and long since I've seen someone take such good care of a weapon. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Got another weapon. Cool. This is one of the weapons I was telling you about. It was passed down through the generations as it came to me, but I can't bring myself to seal it away. But I know you will give it the respect it craves. Excellent. We've unlocked some stories, which I will do at the end of the set. But right now, we got us a boss fight. <laughs> Oh yeah, we gotta deal with these guys first. Okay, now we've got it to level 4, it is an absolute crit monster. As you can probably see, it is just non-stop massacring these creatures over and over and over and over, which is grand. I mean, you know, not in the massacring sense, I mean, that's pretty sad when you think about it, especially these guys seem to be, you know, free will. But, on the plus side, you know, slaughter. Lots and lots of slaughter. Cool. Slayed. Level 45 as well. Need all the levels I can get. Cool. How you doing there? We good? We good. Let's go say hello to the Forest King. What up, your royal babiness? He is a cutie, though. Is this... their king? <laughs> to be... that's... an android. A Yorha type android. Alert. This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? But why? Let's go, Ninas. To be? <laughs> Bunker to 2B and 9S. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. What you see in front of you is your enemy. But she's... She deserted us. She's destroyed multiple pursuit androids. Now kill her before she kills you. Roger that. A2 is just as tricky as she was. Uh, however, with the new Iron Pipe of Massacring, we can take her out pretty... Well, I wouldn't say easily, but... We can do a lot of damage to her very quickly. Oh, 
dodge and actually come in from the top. I think one of the side effects of the pipe is does some sort of stun move, which can actually lock people into the stun animation briefly. But you can see she sort of like flails around noodly, with her noodly limbs. No, ladies, I'm more impressed you just fight in high heels. I mean, that can't be easy. Why? Why did you betray us? Command is the one that betrayed you. Let's go after her, 2B. She somehow and explicitly managed to get away from us. Damn! She got away. Operator, this is 9S. Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm sorry, commander. We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. You should probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why did A2 desert the force? I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. 2B? Yeah? Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. Whether in wind or rain, thunder or snow, or even amidst the rising flames of war, they were always together. They never understood why. And yet they spent their lives nestled together. Forever. Forever and ever. Um, Pascal? This is 9S. Oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually, it needs to be in person. Hmm. Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. Right, there's a couple of side quests I want to do towards the end of this uh, set, which is probably rapidly approaching if I've timed everything correctly. And... They're both centered around the forest area. After that, there's one other side quest, I believe. No, two that I want to do before continuing the main story, and then that'll be it for side quests, at least for the time being. Again, none of them are locked out permanently. I just like last time, you know, we can we have the option to go back and sort them out. So. Yo! We have been expecting you. Told us yeah, we've seen this, so if you just open the gate, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. Right, there is a side quest we can get for the forest. Actually, eh, I could do that side quest while I'm here. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate that, guys. It might not be open. It might not be available to us yet. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm gonna head back to the village quickly. Uh, not going to talk to Pascal just yet, because I don't want to continue things as of yet, because that kicks off the flooded city stuff, which I'm not actually interested in doing at the moment. So, what we're gonna do is quickly run through here. Hello, peeps. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, we need to jump up here. Like so. Uh, that's... We can do another quest there, but I'm not... Again, I'm not too worried about that one at the moment, so... Slide down here. And I want to go to the ground floor of the village, which should be... Aha! Right. The Wandering Couple quest is available again, so I'm just going to skip through this first part where they said they were about to be deserters and we're not going to tell anybody, because we're not. We're not dicks. And we're going to get them the repairs they need, which is nice, so there we go. And I don't... Do I actually need to get the part again for them? Yeah. So I'm going to have to go get to the factory and get that for them, which is no big deal. There is one other little side quest that's actually quite funny to do, so... I'm going to quickly run out of the village to the... This... Towards the amusement factory area. Should be not too far along here. Aha! Here we go. This one I ignored for the first time round because it actually requires money to complete, same as the Wandering Couple one. Now that can be quite expensive. Don't tell me. 
You heard tales of a genius inventor and came here to see me straight away, yes? Quite, I'm sure of it, yes, yes. After all, I am the genius whose very name makes the earth itself tremble. Coming to me for advice proves a keen mind and a stout heart, yes. Why, if you invest but a little in my efforts, I should provide you with all of the desires you're imagining. Yes, invest in his life work, sure. The half-wit inventor. Joy, elation! I had not thought myself capable of such. But just between you and I, I know that if you provide enough of an investment, I'll be able to provide certain dividends in return. So if we invest, uh, basically we want to just chuck in as much money as we can. So, it takes him two days to get back to us, but... Eureka, I've done it! Feast eyes and senses upon my new invention. Copper ore. Rusty clump. Broken circuit. Down attack chip. Silver ore. Medium recovery. Meteorite, which is actually really useful. Speed salve. Impact braces. Alas, but sadly this staggering work of genius is exhausting my funding. Would you care to invest again? So we invest another 20k. And then we wait. You see where this is going. You basically have to invest enough money until something happens. Eureka, he's done it again. A choice sachet. Ooh, that thing's actually quite useful. Let's invest again. We invest another double, double load of money. I can't I think the Troy Sachet actually does something really, really handy. I'll have a look in a second. Dented plate and a crushed nut. But this, uh... We invest again. Another 20k. Once you invest enough, uh, he basically gives us one last thing to invest, which is actually quite funny. A meteorite shard and some charge tabs. A lack and woe, I find myself once again strapped to the proverbial coin of the realm. What say you? Might you be willing to loosen your purse strings and aid me with the meager sum of 100g? Or 100,000 g? Are you certain? Then the time has come. Time for the foremost genius of his generation to perfect the greatest invention of the age. Right then, off to work. One week later? Look at that, he's made this big, like, friggin' space thing. It's finally complete. The greatest invention of this or any generation. Or it was meant to be. Sadly, I have failed. It was meant to be a launch tower for sending rockets to the very moon itself. And while the craft launched, uh, it launched, did soar into the lofty darkness of outer space, it regrettably did not reach the moon. Indeed, instead it landed on Mars. It's also damnably frustrating. I'm the world's foremost genius after all. Never before I sipped the bitter brew of defeat. He does ov open a shop though. Still, all is not lost. I'll gladly sell some of the materials the rocket carried back from the red and desolate planet. We can buy meteorite shards, which are really, really useful, so we'll actually have a few of those quickly. And an alien mask, because, you know, you can always wear that in your head. So it's expensive, but worth doing. So what we need to do is go to... What, which way are we going to do this? I'm probably going to do the forest stuff first, actually. Before wonder, worrying about the wandering couple side quest. So let's zoom our way through here. Uh, which way do we want to go around? So, up and then down, isn't it? Yeah, so up the ladder. Around this side. To the down ladder here. Cool. Oh yeah, the choice sachet. Let's have a quick look a minute. Uh, key items, I think. So, ooh, nope. Key items? Let's have a look. Yep, animals now approach us. Which is actually really useful, so we don't have to worry about like chasing them down or anything. There's one other item that allows us to get like... Uh, ooh, permanent, permanent animal friendship all the time, which is what the side quest we can do now. It's, I mean, you can quick travel in this game, so... Like, in the first Nier, I don't, you couldn't teleport, so, you know, it... Things would be a little bit trickier, but this one, you can, so the animals are less important. Hey, friend, did you hear all them rumours about that place with the trees and the bushes and the leaves and the castle built by the first machine king and the big old treasure? What's in there then? Beyond locked doors and the gates of the moats and whatnot, and you wonder what it could be, and boy howdy, I'd like to find out and see it for myself, don't you know? Uh, what? Analysis. This machine life form believes there is treasure located in the Forest Kingdom. Proposal. Lioness should investigate. Sweet! I mean, why don't you just say that in the first place? Okay, what we're gonna do is not go quite into the castle church yet. We're gonna zoom our way to the other side and go see the animal loving machine because he actually has a quest for us which is pretty handy and then we're going to pop into the ravine and then I'm, then I'm probably going to end the set because I don't want to tackle the castle just now because it's actually a reasonably big side quest and I'm probably already massively overrunning imagine some of you going grey watching these videos I made them so long well hopefully that isn't a problem I like problem with, with games like this I have so much fun I just keep going 
and I really enjoy it. And so I end up having like hour long plus sets in one go. Plus a game of this magnitude in size, it actually kind of makes it easy to tackle and deal with. Because unsurprisingly, there's a lot of content, so making longer sets. I'll, I'll let them get on with their thrusting and aiming. Whoop. Uh, let's do this. Whoop. Boy, howdy. Hello. Oh no. Oh no. What is it? A moose I've been caring for has fallen ill. I do not know how to repair it. You don't repair animals like you do a machine. But if it's sick, you should try giving it some medicine. Medi. Sign. I'm not familiar with this concept. Yeah, I suppose you wouldn't be. It'll probably be easy just to bring you some. Try to hang on till then, all right? So we're vets now? That's new. I assume you have at least some idea where to start looking for animal medication? We'll probably need to recreate old human recipes. We should be able to find something in the commercial facility ruins. Yeah, luckily that's kind of the direction, man. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm not. I'm not in the whole mood for fighting right now. We good? We good? I'm actually going down river. There's a lot of screaming going on with these guys. Okay, so what we want is here, and we can actually carefully. I don't know. Do this wrong. And at the bottom of the ravine, which is great because there's a little quest down there. Hello. Oh, you're androids, yes? Then you must be here to kill me. I've lived long enough. I only ask you do not make it too painful. Well, we don't just go around killing people who don't want to be killed. Why do you not strike? Because you have no desire to fight. You're like the machines in Pascal's village. If you don't attempt to harm us, we have no cause for quarrel. You know Pascal? I see. Still, you should be careful. Of what? Some of our kind can be violent, and they are beyond our control. They attack everything they see, be it friend or foe. Many of these machines are waiting in the canyon ahead. You would be wise to keep your distance. Wise? Machines attacking indiscriminately. Proposal. Unit 2B should eliminate the hostile machines. What? What about 9S? We not cool enough no more? What up, guys? These guys look a bit dodge. Smash. These guys are pretty ah pretty easy to deal with, so we'll just quickly slay them with the ridiculous sign pipe. While we'll pick up all their goodies. I wonder how they got down into the canyon though. I mean, those guys don't have the best legs in the world. On the plus side, all these goodies are useful. That is a lift there, by the way. I'm not ignoring it, I promise. Look at all the corpses. Is this some kind of graveyard? Hey, guys. They're still alive. I'm on it. Well, not really a graveyard if they're still breathing, but hey, we make do. There's more. What's it saying? Don't listen to it, Two B. That's upsetting. I'll, ha I'll hack him to death. Be quicker, right? Can I hack him to death? Let's see what we got in here. Oh my word. These hacks are really quite tricky because of the you know, because of the blocks. However, we can stop bullets from them, which is a plus. There we go. How much damage that do to you, sir? Substantial. Good, we'll keep that up then. Two of these weak noodly arms aren't enough to beat you to death. Cool. 
Ouch. Nice. What was with that thing? It was talking. Maybe that machine who sent us here knows something about this. We should try asking her. Yeah, let's do that. Machines that beg for death, machines that don't want to continue living, machines that have existential crises. There's a lot going on with these little guys. Well, I mean, it's a lack for a better term. They're human. They have, the, they have human like problems. They have human crises. Right. I don't think they are human, mind you. I mean, they're pretty meta looking, but you know. They what they clearly they clearly surpassed what they were originally. There's no doubt about that. Hello. Oh, it's you again. We have a question about the machines in the canyon. Yes, very dangerous. You should avoid them. Actually, we already took care of them. You what? I see. Then perhaps they can finally reach heaven. Come again? Many machines have thrown themselves into that canyon of late. They were trying to hurt themselves beyond repair. You found the remains of those who succeeded and fought those who did not. I know not what would drive them to do such a thing, but I pray regardless of their souls might reach heaven. Here, a gift for you. Thank you for killing them. Lots and lots of really useful materials, thank you. And she opens up a little shop. It's you, is it? Thanks to your efforts, I can live here in peace once more. If you like, I can fuse plug-in chips for you. So, she actually has some, like, burlier chips, like overclock and stuff, whereas if you dodge, you get, like, uh, Bayonetta Witch Time and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Um, and she can fuse chips higher than uh, anyone else can, which is also really, really useful. I need to do the weapon attack one at some point, but we're not going to worry about that on camera. So, now, to head back to that lift, because that's the easiest way to get out of here. Souls in heaven, huh? Do either of those things exist? They'll find out in the end. And so will we. Okay, that's grim. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it is, actually. I gotta be honest, the voice acting for these two is incredibly top-notch. Uh, if anyone knows these two, because I know they do streams and stuff, like, uh, give them a high-five for me, would you? Like, they're incredibly, incredibly good. I, I hope I get the opportunity to tell them that at some point. Incredible, incredible effort on their part. I, I think both Nier games have had really, really good localization and incredible voice acting. It, and it really brings it home when they can add such an emotional performance to something. Makes you really care. Alright, we gotta not stuff this up, so one, two, whoop, there we go. And look where we are! Right outside the shopping centre, which is what we need to go to. See? I plan everything really well, don't I? Sort of. Except for the timings. God, this set's gonna be long. So it's excuse me, it's gonna be eight hours to edit this now, so uh, I'm gonna stop here for the day simply to save my soul from all this editing. I hope you've really enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, next time, animal husbandry followed by a little bit more animal husbandry, some treasure in the forest, then we're going to carry on the main story all in that one set. Oh, wait, let's not forget something important I said we would do. You know, because everyone likes a bit of uh, bit of upset, right? So we're going to go for the small sword first of all, the iron pipe. Dad, if you're cold, I can give you my hat. You're the best father in the world after all. Dad, if you're hungry, you can have my cookie. You're my favorite person in the world after all. Dad, if you're scared, I can sleep by your side. You're my closest friend in the world, after all. So please don't go anywhere. Alright, Dad? Please don't leave your Yona all alone. Okay? Yeah. And then they had their souls stripped out. Sad. On that note, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.